Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at Starship. Starship is a cross-platform shell prompt. It's not a version of shell. It's not an alternative to Bash or anything like that. It's a way to customize your prompt in your terminal. Of course, there's plenty of other ways to do this, but this is just one of the ways that I want to look at. It's pretty colorful. Um, it has a lot of features. Um, we're just going to go ahead and get started. There's an install instructions, but we're actually going to go ahead and clone the project. Let's go ahead and look in here. And um, actually, I probably have this cloned, but you just want to clone it this way. And it's going to clone it. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into it and install it. So jumping in here and install. Let's look in install. And there's there's a shell script um, that's going to be for Linux. And there's some Mac OS and Windows stuff. If you want to follow along with Mac OS and Windows, just check it out on their website. It's pretty easy. We'll just run install like that. It's going to actually want to configure it in your bin and then install some stuff. It's going to need a password. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now that it's installed, it, this is also can be found on the website, but it's going to say, depending on your version, your shell version, let's go ahead and put this configuration in the correct file. I'm using bash, so it's going to be under my home, the hidden bashrc file. So home right here bash rc and we'll go ahead and just drop that down here um that's everything we have to do let's go ahead and close out this terminal and open a new one and as you can see we have our new prompt um, my prompt right here is actually changed a little bit already on its own um, so to give this default prompt i'm going to head and move my config file so that's under here and starship okay starship Let's give that a quick name. Okay, so here is the default prompt, as you can see. I think it's a little cluttered. Um, some people might like it this way, but I mean, it's a, just a lot of lines for, for nothing, really. Um, so I'm going ahead and I'm going to move this file back to where it was. It's this Tomo file. And see, it does it instantaneously. And let's go ahead and look at it. Um, there's a lot you can do with this. We're gonna go ahead and just look at some basics. You can check out their website under their configuration. It's a documentation that basically shows how to do everything. It has all the variables that are available and it shows how to do everything. Um, let me quickly change that. So as you can see, we can print out the directory and because I have it broken up, we just need to add this thing that says add new line equals false. So that way it doesn't actually cause a new problem. With anything like that, you can put stuff in brackets and then afterwards in parentheses you can define a little bit more about it the color and if you want it bold or not there's tons of variables as you can see here's the directory let's close it out and it shows our directory um, just the home directory just like that um, as you can see it's a lot simpler it's not cluttered like it was before but maybe you might like that um, we can also go ahead and add the git branch I believe and let's go ahead and look at the starship you can see nothing's there, but now that we're in a Git repository, it shows the Git branch. Everything on here is running in Rust, um, as far as I am aware. So it basically it has a lot of features, um, way for you to configure your layout for your terminal, just to make it look um, not just nice but personal. It's pretty cool, I think, and I'm probably gonna play around with it a little bit more. And I kind of just I just wanted to showcase it um, to have you guys check it out. There's also a font that I suggest. It's not the font that I'm using. The font that I'm using is from fireship.io. I think it's that one YouTuber. I'm sure you've seen him before. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and check out Starship. It's going to be linked in the description. And see you guys again next time. Bye.